the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Getting prepared for a pretty incredible weekend. I think I'm going to use this for most of my theme park shooting goodness. Leaving you behind. Well, I mean, I'm going to bring you, but I'm just not going to use you as much. And regular Osmo, well, you're just kind of a beast. I think you're just going to stay in the RV. You just hang out here. You, you just hang out. We're going to head on over to Disney World. Probably take you over to Star Wars area so you can kind of feel at home a little bit. You just hang out there. Don't go nowhere. But the first step, before I could even go on my adventure, is finishing up my tires today. Yes! We're going to get new tires today. Look at this. Six new tires getting ready to get slapped on. They're going to get slapped on you, girl. Then I will feel safe and comfortable going to do whatever it is I want to do, which is camp. Well, in the meantime, while he's over there taking the tires off and everything else, I figured it's the perfect time to do a, a quick little unboxing. I'm excited about this. I'm going to do an, a regular unboxing on my normal channel, but you guys on my truck driving channel and travel channel and RV channel. You deserve a little you get you, you deserve a little sneak peek into some mail check this out i ordered it online i've been see i was seeing a lot of photographs of people taking these beautiful images of like the trees or mountains and everything like that and they'd be holding a crystal ball looking thing in their hand well i was always curious to myself what 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 is that it's something called the lens ball and I ordered myself one and I just took it out of the shipping box this is the first time oh ooh, that felt good look at this the lens ball Oop. so you get some instructions it looks like and stickers look at that pretty pretty ex ooh. comes in a pouch but Oh, it's heavy. It is cut from one square block of crystal. And you can do some pretty amazing things with this with your camera. Not exactly sure yet, but I, I know they're amazing. And I'm definitely going to be putting it through its paces at Disney and Universal over the next two days. As much as you just want to head out and do things, sometimes it's great to prepare and New tires is always a great way to prepare because you don't want to end up on the side of the road with some 30-year-old tires that just do a lot of damage to this because I know if one of these tires blew, this all would just get demolished. You know how I learned that? From being a truck driver because sometimes when my tractor tires blow and I'm jamming down the freeway, they do a lot of damage. Mud flaps, side flaps fenders, fuel tanks, they just tear everything up. And this is not built as well as my tractor trailer. I, I mean, I know that. It seems like it is. But underneath all this, it, it, it's not as strong. It makes me kind of sad. But I'll do what I can to protect it. You know what's kind of cool? is on cars and stuff like that. You'll notice on the side of the tires, they put these little weights on to balance the tires out. When you have larger tires, now they don't do that in the, they don't do this in my tractor trailer, but they do it on larger commercial vehicle tires on motorhomes, stuff like that. Instead of putting those little lead weights on the side, they put actual little sand, bags of sand inside the tire. So when it spins, it counterbalances the weight or something. He said it's some, it does it scientifically 
He can't explain how it does it, but it does it. And he's putting bags of sand in my tires before he airs them up. Science. Well, I'm almost done. Got all these tires, the back dualies and the front tires are done. We're just waiting for them to bring me the tag axles and we can get out of here. Yeah, like I said before, they ordered me the last six tires Friday and they got here, but someone else came in, needed some tires and they sold two of my tires. So they had to send off for two more and I gotta sit here for a couple hours. But I'm gonna wait. I'm just not gonna take off. Even though those are tag axles, I wanna make sure they're new tires before I head on down the road. During the summertime in this Florida heat, the pavement gets so hot that you blow tires. And if I'm gonna blow tires, I wanna blow a brand new tire, not a 20 year old tire. And that's about how old those ones are. Brand new, well, the little tag in the printing down there says they're 2000 or two what was it 2014 so this tire was created in 2014 been sitting in a warehouse shelf but it's brand new they're all brand new but the rubber wasn't put together this year I never knew you could tell when tires were made that's 1991 right there well total damage was one thousand and ninety seven dollars yeah tires nowadays definitely not cheap but I'm sure breaking down on the side of the road and having to get a tow truck would be a lot more expensive well with the tires on we got the tires on there's still a couple small things that needed to be attended to before you take off on an adventure and I think I have completed my task I think I think I have it's called grocery shopping and after the grocery shopping's done you can start to relax a little bit because you're allowed to go to the campground you don't have to leave this place if you don't want to i made it to tropical palms in Kissimmee, florida first thing i gotta do is i need to plug this thing in and get those air conditioners going because it's hot in here getting the tires done going grocery shopping then driving over here by disney property the inside of this thing gets rather warm this is actually only the second time I've been camping. I mean, camping, camping. I mean, I pretty much live in here when I come home. This is my place of residence when I come home. Yeah, I, I don't have a house anymore. Really don't need one with something like this. Oh, that feels so much better. That feels so much better. connected Telling you these awnings should come with instructions of some kind. Must be a lock. Must be a lock. Okay, I'm lost. I don't know how to make them stay down. 
time to go check out YouTube. Okay, I, I got it figured out, guys. This one here will stay down wherever you pull it. has little locks on the sidearm. This one over here that I had a hard time with at first, yeah, it doesn't lock down. It has a strap here that you can connect to the sidewall, which keeps it down. That's why I'm camping right now. Instead of staying on the comfort of my own property, getting out and exploring and stuff at the moment, this is why I'm doing it, because I need to learn. Because not all the time am I going to have the ideal situation like I do here. Because in the future, there are some trips planned. But at the moment, the only thing I have planned is to let this thing cool down, get something icy cold out of the refrigerator, head down to the swimming pool on my Segway, and just chillax for the evening. And as the sun starts to set, I'm gonna go take the big camera that's over there mounted on that television, go across the road a little ways to Old Town Kissimmee and get some night video of that amazing place. I love fairs and carnivals and those type of attractions at nighttime. You get to see all those cool lights spinning and you can do so many fun things with your camera. That's what I'm gonna do. Anyway guys, until the next one, my second camping trip in Cousin Eddie. I love you all. Peace out.